What do Swan Lake and Super Bowl 56 have in common? Tragedy and violence that many people pay good money to watch and vicariously live through. And this past Super Bowl Sunday, I had the chance to experience both of these events since I had free tickets to Swan Lake in the afternoon and I was invited to a Super Bowl party later in the evening. And the contrast between watching a classical ballet and a major sporting event on the same day really got me thinking about how we as humans build small theaters and giant stadiums to watch other people perform at peak levels of athletic and artistic performance with very specific outcomes where someone wins, someone loses, and sometimes someone dies. While most people would say it's because everyone harbors sinister desires to watch other people lose and even die, I think it's deeper than simply human nature and a psychological projection of our worst fears and envy. I think it's because we're made up of atoms that are in a constant state of motion, and those atoms in turn are made up of energy that cannot be created or destroyed, but transfers from one form to another. In a sense, at some point we all have to kill and eat something or other in order to keep on living. And there was a time where you could have been the one to get killed and eaten by an animal bigger and more powerful than today's strongest and fastest athletes. And in modern civilization, our minds play out this dreaded reality by watching professional sports teams battle on a field or watching the story of a prince give up his future as a king to die for the one true love of his life. And this is what so many of us humans find to be entertaining enough to build stadiums and arenas to gather inside, pay overpriced tickets to be entertained and subtly reminded that not everyone's going to be a winner or much less a prince or a princess in this life. But that's okay because everyone dies in the end. After all, death is the ultimate equalizer that makes life somewhat of a level playing field. If this video at least made you laugh at some point despite my morbid observations about Swan Lake and finally watching a Super Bowl without Tom Brady, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you're interested in purchasing original art like this or other t-shirts and merchandise like these, please check out the links down below, and thanks for watching.